Welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is Danish. I'm very excited because today we are starting a brand new course and this course is going to be only hands-on and it's called Help Desk Technical Lab course. Who should take this course? If you are a student, you're going for some type of certification learning from college, online and anywhere and you would like to learn the hands-on skills quickly, maybe you can put this on your resume, then definitely this course is for you. Now this is also for someone like if you're a student and you're making a decision, I would like to see what kind of technical things will I be doing after my college or after my education, then this is for you. So you may have a good time while you're doing your studies, but you can do these labs on your own at your own uh, machines or you can purchase it from us. I'll show this later on. Then you can follow these videos. You can do it at yourself or you can follow our labs. Now this is going to be for people like that too. This can be also for a student who is making a decision decision is this career for me I would like to see some hands-on realistic examples that I'm going to be doing at work maybe this is for me or maybe that's not for me they can make a very quick decision after finishing this course this is for professionals who are also transitioning into this career so you may be coming from a customer service career or accounting or something else and you don't have time to go back to college and you really want to finish something quickly and break that ice kind of thing right so this is probably for people who can just quickly finish Finish the lab and then get into more detailed learning which is also a real world course now again I would like to remind people that this is not a replacement to our learning path courses those are also real world courses and they are big so it takes them people to like two to three months to finish the whole learning path then here it's not gonna take you that much probably in a few days you'll finish this here it can be also for someone like IT trainers, right? We have too many IT trainers, mentors who are out there training on the same type of uh, skills, like for example, virtual box and Active Directory installation, uh, user password resets, and some stuff, stuff, some stuff like that. They can also utilize these videos, put it in their playlist, and make it easy for them to present the information very easily to other people. Or they may like to use our labs to present it in their own classrooms. This is another uh, feature that we. We are going to give up. IT tech recruiters, this is for them too, because sometimes uh, tech recruiters may not have uh, too much time to send somebody to train uh, because they may have a very good candidate, but they may be lacking those technical skills. Now, a lot of people say that, oh, you know, technical skills can be learned uh, on the job. Make sure that we have the, you know, a candidate with, uh, you know, more of uh, a customer service type of quality skills like that you know but the problem is that you're gonna find many people like that and and when you have more competition people are gonna go for more technical skills and they're gonna make make a decision based on that because somebody will be more technical than other and that both persons will have really good customer service and behavioral skills now this is where a technical recruiter will get stuck and they will have to then train or give somebody a much better uh, you know uh, techniques to for technical skills now most of the tech tech recruiters are not uh, full IT professionals some are but most of the cases people are and not that technical so they may need some kind of uh, you know help in this area so they can actually use this resource to help them out this is for IT enthusiasts and IT mentors but they can use this in whatever way they want to use it because this is a content so people can watch it and maybe they'll have different ideas uh, by either watching the videos or maybe watching the labs they can definitely enjoy this and you know share this information with other people as long as it's shared from our source uh, if somebody do want to share this let us know we would like to know how you're sharing this uh, because we do want to know how people are sharing this information what we'll be covering this lab objectives and basically we're going to make a complete picture a complete picture of i'm just going to quickly jump down to this slide right now a picture where a person gets hired for the first day what do they do on the first day so we're going to give you that theoretical understanding as well in these labs but of course we're not going to go to such details where this becomes a full theoretical course we want to keep it to the target and that is when a person lands a job as a technical person what do you do then what's the first process right there are certain processes if you know it doesn't matter where you work uh, as long as you know these skills then you will be confident what makes me confident or somebody else with experience because they know certain things right so a lot of people have a little bit of problem over here where they say you learn the experience on the job because this is the stuff that you you have to wait for it the problem with that is that there like i said too much competition right you have too much going on and 
this this has a flaw in there when this this whole mentality has a flaw where you have to wait uh, land a job then go and learn these skills there's a big flaw and the flaw is stress in as an IT professional you become less stressful when you know more stuff when you, when you get more experience and how do you get more experience when you start touching tools different type of environments different type of scenarios where you become more experienced that's why you call yourself experienced. that's why the other person is uh, you know uh, can teach you or mentor you the reason for that is that they have seen more than the person who have not so if we change this idea into let's let us teach you the job skills and this is where most of the you know the, the education is going right now a lot of people are focusing on job skills like job readiness and this is why even if in, if you recently look at the news uh, even at the US uh, federal level or I think government level they are focusing more on job skills even in the in these jobs right there that's out there and they were looking for degrees now that's not I'm not arguing that it is degree good or not a degree is good on its own place but job skills is also very powerful and we have proven that in this platform with 40,000 people people landing a job with nothing on it nothing no no a plus no degree nothing all they need is these these hands-on skills that i'm about to show today not today the whole course by, by the way so this is going to take you some time by the way and we are going to cover lab objectives which is right here and that's going to be the lab scenario we're going to create a scenario where you will land a job what do you will do in the first day and then after that who are the roles who are going to you, you going to be working with sysadmin network engineers and then what's your role like when do you start making your own machine as a help desk person so you're going to basically go and set up your active directory set up help desk machine staff and user machines group policy set up inventory systems then you're going to go into software deployment setup then you're going to go into azure office 365 office desktops remote management backup and recovery security management ticketing system real life tickets and then some projects that we know internally and troubleshooting of course you cannot get away with that and the tools that you need and at the end you're going to pretty much focus on windows 10 and once you finish all these three areas then that's even your your, uh, your of course your level level one skills are going to be covered right here but you're going to be actually touching level two skills and some of the junior sysadmin stuff because we're not preparing people for ticketing system or here we don't we, we don't want you to be be a person who just uh, assign a ticket to somebody and then you're stuck in a place where you do this repetitive task we know we're, we're trying to make you an IT professional so then you can move on to any place with confidence and at the end what will happen you're going to finish the whole flow like that and at the end you will just basically complete the whole thing with with the certificate of course certificate is not going to be available on youtube for free or anything like that you got to be either a member or you got to have some kind of lab we'll talk about that later on but this is uh there there now i'm going to show you what lab are we going to use and why do we need to use our labs and not some virtual box type of solution